Welcome to Crescendo TV. We're hanging out with Huey Mac. What's going on, man? Hi. Got you on a string so bad, like she majored in puppet and got you meeting her out. Pretending Perfection came out last October. How have the fans responded to that? It's been amazing, honestly. Releasing, you know, an album independently. And I did, it was my first album, so I didn't really know how I was going to do. You know, I obviously hoped that it had the success that it did. And, uh, when it went like hit Billboard at number eight, I was like, "Oh, oh wow, shit, yeah. this is real." <laughs> it is, yeah. And that's what I was gonna ask next was like, how <clears throat> was releasing an album different than doing like you know the three mixtapes that you did? The preparation really to to me wasn't different. I mean, I I really had no marketing behind it, just kind of like the fans. So like, I, it's always been like, I just want to give it to the fans, you know, in a way that they like to to have it and respond, so like... It's a nicer package. The prep, yeah, the preparation was the exact same. They really just, uh, they took over and got it. And the result was it. way yeah, better, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Why is it important to you to remain as an independent artist? Um, I like my freedom. I like to be able to do what I want to do. Um, until this tour, I didn't even have an, an agent or anything, so... It's just, I, I'm a very uh, spontaneous person, so if I want to do something at that time, like that's what I'm going to do and that's what I'm going to be passionate about yeah. doing. I don't want to have somebody else trying to, you know, come in and put their foot down on what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, influence or have to exactly. ask permission or some shit. Exactly. I don't want to have to ask permission to release stuff that reflects myself, mm -hmm. you know? Do you think it's... Like a game changer for hip hop when you see like an independent artist like Mac Moore getting all those kind of Grammys. Yeah, no, I do. I think it opens up a bigger doorway that um, you know Mac Miller started the independent wave kinda, and uh, I just think it's like progressively becoming bigger and bigger. And with Mac Moore winning that, that's really big. Yeah, that's huge, man. If you could collaborate with another artist from a different genre, who do you think you'd want to work with? I'm a big Passion Pit fan. Damn, I like that. Yeah, no, a big, huge Passion Pit fan. Um, I'm a big Goo Goo Dolls fan. Dude, that's if good. That's, if that's weird. No, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I'd say those are my two top, like, 96 Goo Goo Dolls, so not like now. They're, yeah, none of that they're kind of whack now, but... No. <laughs> Dude, yeah, get some Iris, man, you know what I'm saying? Do a track, like, sample Iris in. That's good. <laughs> I've thought about it, I've thought about it. <laughs> If you could teleport anywhere in the world for food, where would you want to go and what would you get? I'm, to be honest with you, the least picky eater in the world, so I, that would take lots of thought to think <laughs> about. Um, I don't know. Where's got some cool food? Who's got some cool, or good food? China. China. So we're going yeah, with China? Yeah, real Chinese food. That would be <laughs> dank. So if you die and were to be reincarnated, what would you want to come back as? Give me a sec. This one's tough. Dude, think it through. A koala. <laughs> Why? Just Bro, they're so cute. <laughs> On some real shit. <laughs> but to close off, do you have anything else to say to your fans? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Well, thanks for watching Persona TV. We're hanging out with you, man. That's me. But you know this shit, it won't last. Cause she's a good girl with a bad past. But would you take it all back? Take it all back.